Good morning. We, the Security Council signatories of the shared commitments on women, peace, and security, Ecuador, France, Guyana, Japan, Republic of Korea, Sierra Leone, Slovenia, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, and my own country, Malta, reaffirm our commitment to fully and meaningfully integrate the WPS agenda in all aspects of our work and to amplify and support the crucial work of women peace builders and human rights defenders. Ahead of today's Security Council briefing on the Great Lakes region, we emphasize the importance of the WPS agenda in implementing the commitments under Peace, Security and Cooperation Framework for the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, and the region, and its linkages to the, with the broader security situation in the Great Lakes region. We commend UN Special Envoy of the Secretary General for the Great Lakes region, Mr. Huang Xia, for promoting women's inclusion in regional political processes and welcome the recommendations from the meeting held in Nairobi on 17th April on this critical priority. Despite the disproportionate impact of the conflict in Eastern DRC on women, they have not been fully associated to regional peace efforts despite encouraging steps in this regard. We urge the facilitators of the Luanda and Nairobi processes to appoint women mediators and gender advisors, to leverage the African Women Leaders Network through its national chapters in the region, including in DRC, Rwanda, Kenya, and Angola, to advocate for inclusive processes and peace. These instruments will further strengthen the UN strategy for peace consolidation, conflict prevention, and resolution in the Great Lakes region, which calls for a more significant role for civil society organizations, women, and youth in political pro and peace processes. We further urge the guarantor institutions and signatory countries to engage with the African Union Special Envoy for Women, Peace, and Security, and the co-chairs of FemWise Africa, the AU network of women mediators, to create special measures and mechanisms for ensuring more inclusive processes that ensure women's full, equal, meaningful, and safe participation in the revitalized regional oversight mechanism. Amidst this context, we remain gravely concerned about escalating security, human rights, and, humani and humanitarian crisis in the Great Lakes region. We demand an immediate cessation of all acts of sexual and gender-based violence and attacks against human rights defenders and women cross-border traders. We reiterate the Council's call for humanitarian assistance to be accessible and responsive, and responsive to the specific needs of women and girls. All countries in the region and all parties to the conflict must abide by the Maputo Protocol to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the Rights of Women in Africa. We reaffirm the UN's Special Envoy's call to accelerate the implementation of the Kampala Declaration on Sexual and Gender-Based Violence, together with national and regional strategies for advancing the WPS agenda. In the context of the International Conference on Great Lakes Region, the Economic Community of Central African States and Peace, Security and Cooperation Framework for the DRC. Finally, we welcome the development of a gender-based barometer for the Great Lakes region to monitor compliance with regional commitments and progress in implementing the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Now we have the briefer. Who wants to stay? As you wish. You manage this year. Ah. So this will be our briefer for today, and she will have a few words for you. Would you like to speak to the press about what you intend to talk about today? Merci de me donner la parole. 
Tout ce que je peux dire est que nous comptons beaucoup sur le Conseil de sécurité pour qu'il puisse nous aider, à nous les femmes, à ce qu'on puisse mettre la paix et la sécurité dans notre pays. Merci beaucoup.